Currently, Kenya has 690 megawatts of installed geothermal capacity, with the country targeting to have 5,530 megawatts of geothermal power by the year 2030. Kenya's quest to increase its geothermal projects across the country seems to be on the right track after its first well out of the six wells meant to be explored in Baringo Silari geothermal project showed signs of geothermal presence. The country, as you can see uh, through GDC, has now a new geothermal field uh, other than what we have known traditionally in Okaria and Menengai. According to the Geothermal Development Authority, Paka 1 well started to emit steam last Saturday. Paka well 1, which is a geothermal well, which has been discharging or has been opened and you can see the steam is available for the last three days. GDC Managing Director Johnston Olenchoe says once complete the 1.5 billion shillings Baringo Silari geothermal project is expected to produce 3,000 megawatts of power and will be critical in further lowering the cost of electricity in the country and drive the Big Four agenda. Energy, uh, once discovered, is going to drive the Big Four agenda. It's renewable. It is also a cheaper source of energy for Kenya. I've been told by the experts here that they are expecting uh, the capacity for power here to be 3,000 megawatts and above. So perhaps this is the, the biggest story coming out of this uh, country moving forward. Baringo Silari project covers three geothermal prospects of Silari, Paka and Korosi with drilling and development of the field will be done in three phases with each well expected to produce 100 megawatts.